Hello, uh, my name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station. In this video, we're going to be talking about accelerators. But before we dive in to discuss how to evaluate them, let's learn what an accelerator is. An accelerator is a school for entrepreneurs that helps them get their venture to the next step and most importantly, helps them get their venture funded. It's specifically designed for very early stage companies, for entrepreneurs with no prior startup experience, or sometimes for foreign companies trying to enter a new market where they got no connections and no expertise. So if this is you, then continue watching and learn eight criteria that you should consider when choosing the best accelerator for you. The program's length and location. When you attend an accelerator, you are typically expected to attend the program on site. So if this accelerator is located in California or New York or Colorado, you are expected to move there and be there for the duration of the program. And of course, depending on how long the program is, this will require you to make significant changes to your life and also incur living expenses. The program structure. Different accelerators have a different focus and their programs may be different. You should look at the program's curriculum to choose the program that is the best fit for you. The program's track record and the number of years in existence. Of course, you want to get into the best accelerator possible, such as Y Combinator or ERA Accelerator. But if you're not able to get into one of those, do not despair. There are other ways to succeed, even though it may be a little bit more difficult. But just choose the best one the one with the best track record that's been in business for the longest period of time. Level of oversight. Now, some accelerators are more hands-off and some are more hands-on. Depending on how much help you need, how much hand-holding you prefer, you should choose an accelerator with the right level of oversight for you. Sector focus. Some accelerators have a sector focus and cater to those startups doing business in those sectors. The reason why they have a sector focus is because that sector requires a certain level of expertise that is not easy to attain. If you're doing business in that sector, you should definitely consider those accelerators. They may be an even better fit for you than Y Combinator or ERA Accelerator. The access to and the quality of mentors. Mentors are a key part of the value offering of any accelerator. So you should really find out what kind of mentors they have and most importantly, how easy is it for you to get time with them? If they've got a very famous person as part of their mentor network, but this person only comes once a year, this is not very useful for you. The mentors that are useful are the ones that are available on a weekly basis and you can get access to their expertise and networks. Terms. Now, the time has come to talk about the terms on which you're going to be entering this program. And the one negative thing about an accelerator is that the terms are fixed. You cannot negotiate them, so it's either take it or leave it. You should definitely be very careful in reviewing what you're signing up for and making sure that the percentage of equity that you give them is commensurate with the investment that are giving you and properly reflects the value of your company at the current stage. The percentage of companies funded after the demo day. 
This is a key criteria, and if an accelerator is successful, it will widely publicize that number on their site. If this number is not available, you should be wary of how successful that accelerator is in getting investment for its cohort companies. And there you have it. If you like this video, please share with your friends and colleagues, comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.